Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating mysteries of the universe. Today, we have an exciting topic that challenges our understanding of how Earth was formed and sheds light on the possibility of finding water and life beyond our solar system. Recent research suggests that our planet may have formed much more rapidly than previously believed, and water might not have been delivered by icy comets as commonly thought. Join us as we dive into this groundbreaking theory. The prevailing theory suggests that Earth formed over approximately 100 million years through the gradual collision of smaller bodies. However, a new study suggests an alternative explanation. According to this groundbreaking theory, Earth emerged from tiny, millimeter-sized pebbles that gathered over just a few million years. This rapid formation process could have profound effects on the distribution of water and the prevalence of habitable planets in the universe. So, how does this new theory challenge our earlier understanding? Well, it shows that instead of depending on chance events like comet bombardment, Earth obtained its water through a fascinating mechanism. Our young planet is thought to have absorbed water from its space environment, quenching its thirst by vacuuming up water particles from a disk of gas and dust that surrounded the infant sun, known as a protoplanetary disk. Let's dive deeper into the research results. The team behind this theory analyzed silicon isotopes in over 60 meteorites and planetary bodies to better understand the processes and timescales involved in planet formation. Through their extensive analysis, they found a connection between rocky planets like Earth and other bodies in our solar system. These insights led them to believe that the presence of water during Earth's formation is not a chance event but rather a predictable result whenever a planet similar to Earth is formed. This groundbreaking theory challenges the idea that water is scarce in the universe and highlights the possible prevalence of watery and habitable planets around other stars. The effects are staggering and could revolutionize our search for extraterrestrial life. If this theory holds, the chances of finding water on planets beyond our solar system might be much higher than previously thought. Now, let's hear straight from the researchers involved in this groundbreaking study. Isaac Onyet, a patch. D student at the Center for Star and Planet Formation, University of Copenhagen, explains the process of water gathering during Earth's formation. Isaac Onyet. The disk also contains many icy particles. As the vacuum cleaner action draws in the dust, it also captures a portion of the ice. This process adds to the presence of water during Earth's formation, rather than relying on a chance event delivering water 100 million years later. Fascinating. The idea that Earth's water was gained through a gradual and predictable process paints a new picture of our planet's formation. Let's hear more from Martin Schiller, a geochemist and member of the study team. Martin Schiller, people have argued about how planets form for a long time. One theory is that planets are formed by the gradual collision of bodies, gradually increasing their size over 100 million years. In this situation, the presence of water on Earth would require a sort of chance event. If that is how Earth was made, then it is pretty lucky that we have water on Earth. This makes the chances that there is water on worlds outside our solar system very low. The team's findings challenge the notion that luck plays a major role in the presence of water on Earth and suggest a more deterministic process. This has far-reaching effects on our understanding of planet formation and the potential for life beyond our planet. Now, let's hear from Martin Bizarro a professor at the Globe Institute, and another member of the study team as he explains the broader implications of this groundbreaking theory. Martin Bizarro, the information accumulated by the scientists led them to theorize that with the reliance on chance diminished, there is an increased possibility that other planets have abundant water. This theory would suggest that whenever you form a planet like Earth, you will have water on it. If you go to another solar system where there is a planet orbiting a star the size of the sun, 
then the planet should have water if it is at the right distance. The potential abundance of water on planets and other star systems opens up exciting prospects for finding habitable worlds and potential life beyond our solar system. If water is more common than previously thought, it greatly expands the possibility of the existence of extraterrestrial life forms. This groundbreaking study, published in the prestigious journal Nature, has caught the attention of the scientific community and the general public alike. The implications of Earth's rapid formation and the presence of water challenge long-held beliefs about planet formation and our place in the universe. In conclusion, the new theory suggests that the Earth formed much more rapidly than previously thought, accumulating tiny millimeter-sized pebbles over just a few million years. The notion that water was acquired through the young Earth's vacuuming up of water particles from its space environment challenges the traditional idea of icy comets bringing water to our planet. This groundbreaking study not only reshapes our understanding of Earth's formation, but also has significant implications for the search for life beyond our solar system. The chance of watery and habitable planets being more common than previously thought opens up exciting new avenues of exploration. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the mysteries of Earth's formation and the potential prevalence of water in the universe. Stay tuned for more captivating discoveries and scientific breakthroughs. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep exploring.